What up YouTube? This is JJ Vell with Bass 718. Today I want to cover the elusive question, can you get a bass guitar for under a hundred dollars? And if you did, would it be worth a crap? Well, I'm here to find out so you won't have to. JJ Vell, Bass 718. Let's take a look. I went on a quest to find a bass under a hundred dollars not 99, 95 plus tax, not 98, 99 plus tax. Under $100 meaning we are not going to break $100. So I searched pawn shops, I searched thrift shops, I went on eBay, I went on Amazon, I searched everywhere. Okay, so the conclusion is I think I found one. So I found a bass guitar, it was completely beaten up. The bass had, well the strings had rust on them and uh, it, there were dings all over the bass. And, uh, but, but the one thing that attracted me to the, to the bass was that although it looked like it had gone to hell and back, I was holding it in my hand in this thrift shop on a very muggy day and the bass was in tune. So that was impressive. Okay, so the bass that I'm talking about is sitting right next to me. This is a J Terser. Guys, I gotta tell you, until I bumped into these basses, um, I only heard of them like once before. And uh, I believe it was my bass instructor who had told me that there was someone selling them. Though like, it was some huge fire and they were getting rid of them. And they, were, they had some pretty interesting looking basses but for the price tag, it was, uh, I, I just didn't know. So this is what's considered the JTB400C. The base weighs almost, it's so light. There are a lot of dings on her. There's one here, but nothing really, you know, it's all superficial. You know, there's a lot of cracks in the finish. And, uh, but all in all, the neck is straight. And for such a light feeling bass, um, without it being plugged in, I just, uh, I'll just take it down all the way. I first felt the action. And I said to myself, I picked the basses that cost, I mean, hundreds of dollars and didn't feel as comfortable so I mean I was intrigued like I gotta get it but right out the box let me give you guys a demonstration mm. I mean the actual action on the bass was almost perfect I mean from the word go once I changed the strings I just needed to give it just a little bit of a love tap if you want to call it that I mean and uh, now I just gotta give a really good wipe shine down which I did but just not as Appropriately, so bass. I mean, facility. Like no problem, and it's not just like that. It's no problem. But the tone rings out every note like perfectly. And for a cheap bass, 65 bucks, guys. I mean, and retail at this point, I think if you bought it new, I, I re I'm sorry, I really don't know, but I think it would cost somewhere in the range of 150. But I'm gonna tell you, you get a bass of this caliber and be able to even slap on it. Sounds fantastic. I mean, I could you can keep with something like this as a spare bass, an emergency bass, or even your practice bass to take on the bus. You know what I'm saying? This is, I mean, if I was to travel anywhere 
I'm taking this pace with me. Because if they all play as beautiful as this bass, I mean like, wow. <laughs> when I was a kid, a $65 bass meant that you had a piece of plastic with strings that barely made any sound. And now you got basses like these that you can get. And if this is the best you got, if this is the best you've got, you don't need much more. It'll it'll take you there. And I mean, I mean, I'm impressed with her like completely. I gotta tell you, this bass, she has a very reminiscent feel to a much higher end bass. You'll be surprised. I definitely would recommend it. Now they do have two different ones, I from my understanding. This is the JTB 400C, which has the rosewood neck, and I do believe they had a JTB 400, a JTB 400M, which sported the maple neck, and I, I've never played that. I never even, I honestly, I've never played any of these basses, but um, I gotta tell you, I mean, I think that with a little bit of love and attention. She can be a fantastic, you know, road base. You can take to the hotel instead of your, you know, high-end instruments with your baby. I don't have high-end instruments only because someone's name is on it. You understand? That's not the only reason why I would own an instrument. Um, it would have to serve my purpose. Like, you know, if I use the um, Yamaha Attitude 3, you know, it's a Billy Sheen signature, but I use it mainly because of the features. Like, um, I, I, I love to be able to play out of two separate amplifiers. I love to use one bass and I love to use one distorted. You know, um, I mean, the bass also has a very solid, you know, neck. So to me, basses like that are specialty instruments I use for specific reasons, but they're not basses I use constantly. You know, this bass here, I'm not kidding. I would actually probably use this through an entire set. No lie. It's just because it feels so comfortable. Like, like are you kidding me? Like, if I could have a bass like this. Like, unbelievable. I mean, she could use a little bit of an adjustment. But I gotta tell you. I, w I would most certainly vouch for a bass like this. If, uh, again, you're on the bus and uh, you just want to jam out in the bus and not worry about it getting banged up, because you have like another 12 of them <laughs> you know, in the back. Because basses like this, you get a bunch of them. Because they just have such a great feel. Why wouldn't you? I would most certainly, if I was a beginner, I would, um, the, this would be a bass that would be a dream come true. Like parents, you have kids who fall into a fad and they want to play an instrument and you don't want to go out there and even spend $200 because $200 is, you know, usually even $200 used to get you like a very mediocre instrument. But now if you want to go ahead and get something 65 bucks and not feel bad that you cut a corner because if he's gonna become a musician, he'll become a musician with a bass like this. You don't need much more. You understand? So if he leaves, he leaves it just sitting in a corner, well then, there you go. You lost 65 bucks. You may get 35 bucks. You may get 35 bucks in return for it. But seriously, I mean, it's, it's something that I would definitely recommend. She has a growler. And remember these strings, I haven't even changed them yet. Uh, these strings aren't really brand new. I just had a pair of strings sitting around. They weren't exactly that old, uh, but they weren't a gauge that I was happy with. And I, I threw them on. I feel perfect on this bass. And you know, for a slap. She's a 
monster. Again, this is a JTB 400C with the rosewood. They have the 400M, which uh, gives you the maple neck. Don't know the sound of that one. But this, how can you deny that? Uh, again, I don't know anything about the make yet. I, I mean, I picked it up, I was so excited. I wanted to share it with you guys. Yeah, I mean, great bass. Um, I can imagine just like souping it up. You know what I mean? For the heck of it. Again, guys, J Tercer Basses. Mom and Dad, Christmas comes, they want a bass. You get them this bass, okay? You get it brand new though. Don't get it with things, because then, you know, they're going to cry about it. <laughs> get them something uh, brand new. Costs you about a hundred, maybe a little over, but I guarantee you it's a bass that they'll keep for the long haul. Whether they make it or not, you're making a wise investment. Okay, this is JJ Vell with Bass Seven Eight saying, "Go out there and find that bass, guys, and get playing."